Hey guys, Automotive Point Man here, back again on YouTube. Guys, and I'm here specifically to talk to you guys who maybe have the bad credit, who owe Sally Mae and Mifa some serious amounts of cash. Listen, the past doesn't necessarily need to dictate your future. Now what I'm speaking about is specifically in getting a new vehicle, new vehicle for you. So whether that's certified pre-owned, brand new, or quality used. So listen, the idea is let's put ourselves in the bank situation. Maybe you've had a repossession through a major brand, okay? You go to another brand and say, hey guys, I made a mistake. I'm in need of a vehicle. Can you work with me? Nine times out of 10, the dealer can and I'll tell you why. Okay, number one, you're not the same person you were before. Let them know that because what you're essentially asking them to do is pull some strings for you, call their banks, call their people, and they're looking for someone to buy that loan. You pick a car, they find some banks that are willing to finance that car, you drive away with that car. So how that works is you have to understand a couple of things. Number one, 100% of your choices have gone out the window. It's always good to have options and a good dealership will give you at least two or three options of vehicles to choose from, but now you have taken off the table the right, so to speak, to walk into the dealership, say, I want that car, I wanna pay this a month because that's what the promotion said on TV or online. That's not how that's gonna work anymore. What they're gonna to look to do for you is probably choose a, a more of a certified pre-owned vehicle with a full written warranty, get the bank's approval, and now you're going to be hit with a little higher payment than what the average American with good credit is used to or if you're not in America, wherever you are. But I can only speak to the banks, about the banks and how the finance kind of works here. So with that being said, keep in mind, as long as you're open to paying a little bit more of a higher payment monthly for a short period of time, because you don't even need to go through the whole loan. Let's say the loan was for four or five or six years. You do about half, make all your on-time payments. Your credit's gonna jump. And with that, come back in to either refinance or to trade that car in carry over a little bit of that negative equity to a new vehicle. But now, since your interest rate's gonna significantly drop because you have better credit, because your risk factor has gone down, when the banks are looking at it, how risky is this person? 50, 60, 70%, 10% risk factor. Lower the risk factor, the better the interest rate. Follow me. So with that being said, as long as you're okay with a little higher payment, but still getting a quality vehicle from the dealer, you can play ball. You can enter this game. You can get a vehicle. And I feel like a lot of you guys out there maybe feel intimidated by the industry or by the fact the current set of circumstances, the current situation to where you just don't have really good credit right now. And I'm speaking to a place of I was there. I understand it. So therefore now I'm sharing this information with you guys. Go into the dealership, be upfront. Hey guys, my credit's not good. They're gonna pull it up front and they should because you don't want to waste their time they don't want to waste yours to let you know okay these are our options can we do something okay we can and work from there now before you walk into the dealership to understand a higher payment never feel pressured when they present options that you have to take them now but understand as well most credible dealerships are going to use the same financing companies and banks that the next person is going to use so don't think that you're going to walk into a dealership think you're getting a really crappy deal and then walk into another dealership and get an amazing deal. It's not how that works. So keep that in mind, guys. I hope this information helps. Sally Mae, Mifa, repos, bankruptcies, medical payments, anything and any, uh, any of that stuff matters, but it doesn't matter. Meaning you can still get a quality vehicle as long as you're going to a credible dealership and you let them know up front, hey, this is what's going on. Can you work with me? Because at the end of the day, they want to sell cars. They want to sell cars to you. They want to do a deal. So keep that in mind, guys. I hope that helps. Thanks. We'll see you soon.